All right, happy Halloween, everybody. Here we go. Okay, happy Halloween, everybody. So one of the things that we always like to do is give a little tour of the Spirit Halloween store because we live right down the street from the Anchor store. So this is the biggest Spirit Halloween store, the main headquarters, right here. So 2023 store tour. Let's do it. Although this is this is actually supposed to be a vampire costume, but I'm feeling like it's more of a Van Helsing vampire hunter werewolf hunter costume. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking this though. How about you? I'm just liking these masks. All right, here it is heavy setup this year. On a side note though, this is one of the reasons I came here, so I might as well grab it before someone else takes the last one. VHS. Getting that. Maybe get that, probably not, but definitely gonna get this. No doubt about that. Uh, this is so baby style, look. Look. All right, I'll give you. I'll give you guys. She's gonna pick one. The pumpkin. You know pumpkins are. And she's gonna pick all of them though. <laughs> Literally gets so crazy. So this is the regular adult costumes basically along this whole wall and then on the other side is the kids costumes. Beetlejuice section. This is crazy. This We let this off already and this would literally freak anybody out. So scary. Just 
something in there. And then this guy. Don't be afraid. Your time has come. Skeleton section. Any different kind of skeleton you would ever need, basically. Hat selection. All the different hats. Witches hats, cowboy hats, police hats, Viking hats, firefighters, top hats, masks. So many different ones. These are cool. Fake baseball bats. This is just all like wigs and stuff. Might need to get some makeup though, actually. I'm so stupid slash so mad right now that I knew about this, right? And I was so happy to buy this VHS tape, right? Look at it. VHS tape. It's not a VHS tape. It says Spirit Collector's Box includes one lanyard, one patch, two decals, and two buttons does not contain a video cassette. Why would anyone even care to buy this then? I literally thought this was a videotape. They would sell more of these if it was just a tape and not all the other dumb stuff in there. Well, not dumb, but. First time in the Halloween store. She absolutely loves it. She's not afraid of anything. We don't make her feel like she should be afraid of any of this stuff, so I guess she's just not. They do go all out with the var variation variety of different costumes that you can get here. These are pretty cool. Plague Doctor. You can't see, on the camera, you can't see it like you can with your eyes. Oh, you can't? No. <gasps> Look at the bats, bing, bing. You can see it, Finn. it's different. It's not the same, wow. This is so cool, Finn. This is, cool. This is so this cool. Is so she cool. she loves Halloween, everything about She's it. She's not afraid, that's what's crazy. <laughs> Sorry. You got scared she didn't. <laughs> She's like, I know somebody who looks like that. Whoa. He's so tall. All right, successful mission. Finn's officially not scared of anything. She's a trooper. The only thing she's scared of is being told no. <laughs> right. <laughs> she got scared. He, uh, did we not we didn't get that. She got scared of the one thing. Was holding her literally directly in front of the clown with the knives. And that's what makes you scared of clowns. It's Dagger Mike. Like that. Dagger Mike, they call him. But the lady that works there was claiming that her. Did she say her son's a little bit younger than Finn? Well, he came in when he was younger then. When there. he was younger. And she said she's been bringing him in there. And. Finn kept going to this, do you guys, what was it, Barbara from Beetlejuice? Yeah. When her face turns, like, into that pointy creature thing, and they had a little plushie that was eye level with Finn, she kept going to that, and the lady that works there said that she thought that was interesting because her son, when she brought him in there, would go to the same plushie. So something about that Beetlejuice Barbara plush tickles infant's fancies. And then she went to, into the graveyard and there's like this really creepy zombie child and she was talking to the the thing as if it was a real kid and waving at it, so. She was going like that, she was like, do 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 do. <laughs> and like having a serious conversation with it. But that was our Halloween store little mini tour and we'll see you guys in the next Halloween segment right now.
The mummy costume's actually looking pretty good. The mummy costume looks good. The claim, what's up? What's up? What are you? Oh, dude, uh, I'm a rock star. I do <laughs> In like real life, some, a lot right? of love songs. Uh, my name is Rod Stewart. He looks good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I actually don't even have the mic on me either because this one doesn't work and the other one just got stolen. So today I went surfing in Atlantic City at like. I got into the ocean at like 7 o'clock a.m. So I left at like 6 something. Early morning surf sesh. I was stoked to be out there having so much fun. Got off the beach and realized that somebody has stolen my duffel bag with my GoPro, five batteries, the other mic that I use all the time, bunch of other stuff. That's going to be a whole nother video in itself because it's so brutal. I did have the GoPro that was in the water with me, so I have some footage from the day. And I'll wrap it up into a video because it's just so, so brutal. And so many people I've talked to already have had stuff stolen when they were surfing in Atlantic City as well. So it's a very, very common thing. I should have known better, but I didn't. Either way... I did know better, but I still did it anyway. Either way, I just picked up another Hero 10. Finn picked it up, I should say, from Target. So the GoPro got stolen around 8 or 9 o'clock this morning. It's 2.50 in the afternoon, and we are back on top already. Letting no grass grow under our feet. Brand new GoPro on it. So my plan is, well, set the GoPro up. I bought another battery. This is the long lasting battery. Is to set this all up, charge up the two batteries, put the card I have in here, and then go and film uh, some family Halloween fun later today and check out some roadside Halloween decorations. You know how people, they decorate their house is really cool. Well, there's a few spots around here that do that. And we wanted to cruise by them for everyone so that you guys can see and so we can have a little fun ourselves. So that's what we're gonna film later today. Stay tuned. Happy Halloween, everybody. Here we go. The big Halloween setup. This year's idea was Sammy J's. Last year I built a graveyard. This year we're doing witches. We're gonna do the classic three witches holding hands. Maybe holding hands. I don't know how this is gonna work. Um, 
with the cast iron cauldron that we have that I spray painted black. And Lucky's gonna help. All right, so she put, what'd you put in there? Trash bags and paper? I just put like bags that we had and then yeah, three trash bags, crumbled them up and then took three rubber bands just to kind of form heads. Right, Lucky? And then we got all this wood from our friend Leland's house because he good. moved out into the Pine Barrens and he was doing actually a bunch of landscaping and he cut down all this stuff so well he has like 700,000 trees at his house but these are just some of the stuff that was left over but basically what we did do is like cut them how tall you think I'm not really sure because that was your your idea or should we just like cut it to here and then we can cut it down you know what I mean instead of it like being like oh it's too short now Yeah, just like this will be the stick going into the head, right? So the body. Yeah. And then you want to do. Stick and then you just do like arms. one shorter stick across. Okay. So then when you drape the trash bag and then this over it, right? Mm -hmm. It'll be like more. Like yeah. it'll have shoulders instead this of just. Probably won't drape over the actual trash bag though because it's too thin. Okay. Like when you drape it over the head, it's not wide enough. But we can try, we can do if like the trash bags the are good enough, then they're good enough, right? Mm -hmm. We'll just work with what we have. Yeah. So basically what we're building is a DIY Halloween haunt. Is this going to be equivalent of like, what kind of a haunt are we going for here? Like an immersive what? experience? This is just a display. <laughs> Not like what we were watching yesterday? No. <laughs> yeah, we'll just cut it here, right? I mean, that's probably too tall even that, right? Um, or should I go to here? No. Just here, Definitely right? make it shorter, yeah. And then what is that one going to be the center, right? The other stick? Well, is this... I'm saying this is going to make three people. Three oh, yeah, correct. that can. Yeah. Because that would be perfect, right? And then this will be like the legs, right? Yeah, that'll be the center one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and how are you going to get this to go in the ground? I guess I'll have to like shave it, the top of it, right? To make it into a really good, like a point. And then we'll just put it down, put it in. Oh, okay. True. I guess you could do it the other way if it's easier. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yep. Or this way. And then what about this dog, though? I don't know if that's going to go in the ground. Oh, if I do both of these, it will. Yeah, if you trim that to be the same length as that and then shave them like you were saying into points. Yeah. And then that can just like be literally the center right here, right? And honestly, you could take the tips off of these, too. Okay. Just to make it short, like... Yeah, because it's a little long, right? Yeah. Best part of got getting so much stuff from, like, storage units and stuff, you don't care if it breaks. <laughs> See, that's not bad. So yeah. maybe make them this height, right? Well, these ones can be a little bit taller. Well, just trim them right there, I guess. Like sure. right here? Yeah. Right, so I had this crazy idea to do, like, something where they were, it was hanging off, but that would like block the witches anyway. So what we can do is cut up the rest of the wood and put a pile underneath, like you were saying, under the cauldron, so it looks like it's about ready to, to be lit up. Yeah, and then we can put the glow sticks, hopefully the green glow sticks work. Well, we can backlight the witches if, if last resort. This is basically the shape that Sammy made. So it's like a grocery bag filled up. 
with rubber bands holding it on this stick, and then that's the arm. Doesn't look like anything really yet. the arms so then it's we can attach the arms together yeah, so we can see here you hold no, yeah. is that where you want it yeah that's perfect needed the sledge that looks good Here is how cool the witches came out. So shout out to Sammy for this idea. Pretty homemade. We had to buy the hats and of course the trash bags. But other than that, not very expensive for how cool it looks. I had a lot of footage of myself setting up our other display, right? Lost it. Lost all the GoPro clips of the setup with the GoPro that got stolen So my GoPro got stolen earlier today, but that's not gonna stop us from doing an epic setup Here's the other piece of the setup So it's gonna be a pirate ship. Oh Look Finn She's out Finn is out in the yard So I'm gonna bring this boat to the front, set it up like how I said it, I had it set up right here and then I had the projector set up. I don't know what footage we have of that, if any, but I'll try to get the pictures and footage off my phone just to show you guys, but we had an epic setup for our Halloween party and I think I lost all the footage with the GoPro. I should have exported it and offloaded it, but I did not. But see this little thing here is like a uh, like a serving tray cart, basically. But I found it in the trash, it never had a top. And the way that I tilted the boat up on it, right? Like could fit in here. And it, it just looks so cool. So I'll show you guys. We're gonna set the boat up, Finn. And then do you want to see the other decorations ever yeah. on the island? Okay. Okay, Bean. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Look, it's a lobster. It's lucky. Remember we got this GoPro earlier. All right, Target. Uh-oh. You dropped your snack. <laughs> yeah, you did. Go wiggle. Here. Are we going to get this? We're gonna bring this out to the front so that you and mom can cover the thing while I lift it. And then we'll put the uh, lanterns around there. Yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> she's not having it. She's in her own world, babe. She got that, we're gonna bring that out probably too. Well, she can bring it. Come That's on, what? bring bring that, Finn, it's for the decoratives. Bring the gargoyle. Thank you, thank you. The 
setup so far. What are we thinking, Finn? What do you think? I think it looks great. So I used fishing line for here. I should say we did. You cut your face with this stuff, remember? Fishing line on the back to hold him in place. He's actually got, he's got three fishing lines. And this one's, this, she's only got one. That's all she needed. She's got the sword too, but I don't know if I should put the other sword out. Yeah, and then we'll put the lights behind the witch, one of them, and then one behind here to backlight them. Ooh. Hopefully we can make them green. Look at this boo-boo right here. Little boo-boo in the window. Okay, it's going down. Finley with her new car seat. What's going on, Finn? All right, so I figured I'd film a little vlogging today. It's been a while since we put out an actual vlog, but it is Halloween weekend, I guess you would call it. It's Sunday, and Halloween's on Tuesday. So we're going out to breakfast in Ocean City, which is a very season it's a seasonal town but they also go big for halloween they actually go big for christmas right on the beach you guys probably know what i'm talking about but we're gonna cruise down and walk on asbury we're gonna get some breakfast and yeah just do some family stuff and then later today like i said yesterday we're going to go out and we're gonna check out this really crazy Halloween setup that somebody set up at in front of their house, but it's literally like a full haunt. Like they got probably 60 different big decorations out. Either way, you guys will see that later in this vlog and that should be cool. But I'm just gonna film a bunch of stuff throughout the day and just allow the viewers to step into our life for a few minutes. So let's do it. Sammy's in the Walgreens right here. And then we're gonna roll out to Ocean City. Stinky oil. Okay. This squad, look at this. Now you can see Bean from the back. All right. Take it, Uri. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. I, don't, I would, though. Pick whatever table There's she the likes. spot. You got it. She knows a couple spots in here. Which one do you think? Uh, over there is fine. Yeah. She's been in that spot before, right? She can sit next to her mama. She can sit right there. Right? Here. There you go. How are you? Do you have new shoes on? You got new boots? Oh my goodness. Yeah, go film some stuff. Look at her little boots over there. She's been rocking that for a while. Probably like, what, two weeks, three weeks? Yeah, she's had those like forever. She loves them. The name is escaping me. My daughter has the same one. This is crazy. Sammy tries to do this every day, but a new record. Almost 10 o'clock and I had my first sip of coffee right now. I don't drink coffee. Wow, that's good though. Technically I had a banana already today. 
and like. I would say you do that every day. I usually get coffee around like six if I can. Like that would be my personal favorite. Usually not till like eight a.m. But. Thank you. You can't give our car keys away. <laughs> Finn, you can't give people the car keys. This is the spot right here. Finn wanted to come outside, but this restaurant in this time of year, this season, is so good because not that many people around. The weather's beautiful, and you can just get almost any seat you want and not be bothered by the crowds. But in the midsummer, we don't go here just because it gets way too busy in Ocean City. And there's also that really cool, it looks like a haunted house, house right up the street. See that? Maybe we'll go by that in a little bit. It's so cool. Maybe we'll walk up to the big haunted house. Right, Finn? Of course. High five? High five me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got coffee, coffee, milk. Where'd this appetite come from? She's so, she already ate like a three course breakfast before we came here. She did. And really now she's just she's eating she's everything. Check this out. Egg and cheese. Hold on, baby. I gotta cool it off. And look at these home fries. Here, you wanna watermelon? Mmm. You see? A few decorations. They got Ruru in the window. Look, a little they ghost. The, the little ball, the push ball. That's pretty set things. up really nice, actually. Except yours is pink. Yeah, but these houses. I do feel like where I grew up, they're being more, more Halloween decor. Where you grew up, huh? Yeah, we're on that side. All right, we'll go there. All right, Finn. We'll Towards go drive Fourth around Street, and see what then. we can find. We came across. We came back around to the house that I was saying was like a haunted house. It's definitely not haunted. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it, it looks like a house that would be in a movie. It might just be a bed and breakfast, though. I'm not sure. What do you think, Finn? True. Let's go find these decorations. the perfect house for it. Wow, they did it right. This used to be a bed and breakfast that Sammy used to go to because her dad's friend owned it, right? My mom's friend. I guess it was both of their friends. But wow, they redid the whole place and then put this decorations out. They're like the most decorated I love that they redid house. that place so nicely and then the fact that they're festive for Halloween just Pops I could cry because that place was like a an important place in my childhood and none of the adults in my life probably know that like the adults in my life at the time but I had very good times there with uh, the owner's daughter we we're like this we're kids he's so cool so this house I used to call it the cat house because there used to be cats that hung out on the stoop right here. And they used to give out king size candy bars right here. This house. So my plan is come back Halloween night and see if they still give out king size that candy bars. That house always reminded me <laughs> of the house from Hocus Pocus. The girl's house where her parents are having a party. Damn, what's her name? Turn, turn here. Looks 
she's got ghosties. Is she going down here? Yeah. And a witch brooms off the back. That is so... I love that. That's like heebie doobie. That's so cute. Trying to get the festive dream going on here. I love that. It's so rare nowadays to see people being festive for Halloween. It's like foreign. Because I could see people's faces. Not everybody. Just Some this just outfit. Over and just this. your outfit. Just oh, no, I'm just basic. saying that this got people like... Yeah, yeah, the girl that worked there like was the... excited to see it. Yeah. But it's just like, usually this would be the least dressed, right? Because like people used to go all out. Or am I just imagining like things that happen in movies that I thought were like how people actually are? Because like, you know, how we watch the Rugrats? How they like just everyone was full dressed. Yeah. I don't think that was ever a real thing, I think. Look, the ghost lady. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she was excited because we were excited. Okay, I built something similar to this for Christmas a few years ago. It was basically a Santa sleigh on top of an electric skateboard. So I used this to set it on. My idea here today is to create a graveyard that's on the e-board and fully rideable with me standing. So basically this, this will be at the back and then I'll be able to stand grave back there with the grass down and make it you know, with the fake bushes and stuff. And I'll be in the skeleton suit cruising on a makeshift graveyard. Not sure how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna actually put it together right now. Pretty basic setup, but basic is good. So this will be able to go along with the remote because the electric skateboard's underneath. And all I gotta do is balance and stand on it <laughs> and I can get cool shots like this. We'll see how it goes. I build it so that I can ride on it. Wow. Like it's a cemetery. A, is there, oh, there's a skateboard. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's cool. Right? That's cool, right, Bean? So I can cruise around with it. That's fun. That was you, you can't tell from the, like, just Well, like I left the, the extra flops, too, so it would be harder. This looks harder, really cool. Gonna, harder to see. Like somewhere, so she, yeah. That's really cool. See it just cruising? It does look cool. It really does. Alright, Finn, let's put Penelope out here so she can get this on. Alright. Moving cemetery. Test one. Let's see how it goes.
Lewis just actually got murdered. Moving Cemetery was a huge success, but I actually just got back into my mummy outfit because this is the costume that I'm going to actually wear for Halloween. And we are heading over to check out, finally, the big, big Halloween decorative setup. It's over the bridge in Margate, so it's about 10 minutes away. But it is the best Halloween setup I've seen around here in quite a few years. So I think it'll be worth checking out. I had people here, but that's fine. Yeah, if you go around, and then you can park like where they are. You know what I mean? I mean, they set it up on purpose yeah. so people would uh, come and check it out. Just like, right wow, it's so sick. Oh yeah, you can park on this street right here. It's literally so sick. Like set up so well. Whoever did this is a legend. And look, they just have a tent set up. So they can have like parties there. For their Halloween party. Yeah. They're That's so cool. carried away. They even have a porta john here. A porta john at like their neighbor's house. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Am I? This is pretty much a spot right here. These people get carried away over here, but wow did they ever do it right. This is a spot. Right? Yeah. I don't know whose vision this is, but it's the vision of a complete legend, whether it's the husband, the wife, the kids, I have no idea. They do this every year though. See? She already seen this and went, mm -hmm. And they got other stuff in there. But wow, well, alright, let's see this. She's trying to see in the house though. Look, there's mad people trying to check it out. She's just gonna try and grab wow. Wow. <laughs> this is the That's craziest. The big mommy. Like Dada. She's like. Look. <laughs> honk, honk, honk. <laughs> you wanna walk? Uh oh. She's called in me. Oh, her shoe. What about her other shoe? Alright. Here you go, Bean. See what we're gonna do here. Whoa, the skeleton. Look at this guy. He's crazy, right? And the big guy up on the porch. Wow. Wow. She likes the whip. I gotta get my phone out for this. This is just somebody's actual house, too. This thing pops up. It jumped up and scared her. Scared her. Scared her? Hey. This is scarecrow. This is so crazy. This is so crazy because this is just quite literally somebody's house. And it's up there with one of the best Halloween setups I've ever seen in my life. So, so cool. And they have it set up just so everybody in the whole town, any town around here can come and look at it. Like it's not closed off or anything. He's singing the song, wow. Does this guy go off? That's 
Oh, they probably do smoke. Yeah, they probably do smoke at night. And they're gonna get a picture. Come on, Finn. Come on, old bean. This is like really, really cool, though. I feel like the best Every time. Every time I try and get a pic of her, she's the best just too time curious. to come here. That would be like 6 a.m. in the morning, because then nobody would be here. Yeah, and, and then you honestly, could do like a whole dark. walkthrough. Maybe we should do that. Like a whole walkthrough. You know what I mean? Does he just do that on the reg? Best setup, one million percent. Need a re uh, uh, an award for the number one best setup in the county, this at least. Is cool too. Like they even did their. They did they it did all. I mean, look at their house. It looks like it would already need this. And I know it's decked out inside. Oh my gosh! It probably looks so cool. The fact that they have all the back set up the way it is. Yeah, that's fun. Huge success. That was well worth checking out. Hopefully, they do it again next year. I'm sure they do it. They do it every year. Not every day you get to go grocery shopping in a mummy costume. Holy cow. Induction. Huh? I said holy cow. Induction. Because uh -oh. that's what it says. <laughs> this is a crazy car though. And really mint condition. Look at that. And look, he's got some twisted tees in the back. It's going to have a fun night. Where's yours? All right. She's gonna get our witch's costume for Halloween. All right, let me get the, uh, some pretzels here. All right, it has been a while since we actually vlogged like a whole day. Not that we filmed everything today, but we filmed a lot. We got our pumpkins. The reason we wait so long to get the pumpkins for Halloween, I'm not sure if we're gonna have time to carve them, but the squirrels eat them, whether they're carved or not, they just like pick them apart. So we got them now so that we can have them for Halloween night. So we'll put one there, one on the other side and yeah successful day awesome day i really feel like these are the days you know when i go out and do something that i don't necessarily want to do or if i'm spending you know hours and hours editing today is one of those days where it's like any amount of work that you can do pays off to be able to spend time with your family and just go to breakfast go out to the halloween haunt yeah i filmed a lot today but like it just didn't feel as much like work as a lot of other days. It felt like actually quality time. And we could make a video, so. Oh God, let's see. These are probably the best pizza you can buy imported from Italy. And then also these are really good. And my favorite pretzels. But we got other food in there. This is just some of it. Take this around. Might as well throw down on a skate sesh since I'm already in the outfit. Let's see, where's my board? Oh, it is actually here.
All right, to end off the day here, I got a message and I think it's important to uh, follow up on it. So this came from Tracy in Northampton, U UK in the United Kingdom. And she said she's 76 years old. Her husband watches our channel. He recently had a stroke. Uh, so wishing you the best, Jim. Shout out to Jim in the UK in Northampton. Thank you guys, thank you both uh, for watching the channel and wishing you the best with your recovery. So shout out to Jim and everybody if they, you know, can take a couple minutes or a couple seconds to just wish Jim a speedy recovery over in the UK. We probably have some of the greatest, most sincere, most epic viewers in all of YouTube. So when someone messages me something like this and I remember to do a shout out, I always will do it. Uh, sometimes it does slip my mind and I apologize if other people have asked, but shout out to Tracy and Jim in Northampton. Uh, thank you all for watching. You know, thank you both for watching and thank you all for watching this. So that's just pretty much gonna end the night off. And I'm about to set up the projector here for a second and just, you know, play some movies in the backyard. I had some great footage of us watching the movies, but again, like I said, the footage got stolen with the camera. Can always just make new memories though. But here's the setup. And I'm gonna start rocking some movies in a minute. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed our Halloween video this year. It's so crazy because we literally thought we had so much time. I had all these plans to do all these different skits all these different Halloween things. Um, but it just, it's Halloween today, literally. Uh, so yeah, time really goes fast. And I know everybody's saying when you get older, it just goes and goes and goes. And I can see that cause like I feel when you're a kid <clears throat> that it doesn't go as fast as it does when you get older. But I can't complain. We had one of the best Octobers. Uh, of our lives. We did a lot of different festive activities with the family and yeah, I, I just, I can't really say that it wasn't probably the best month, Halloween month we ever had, honestly. I guess what I want to say is because time goes so fast, make sure that you spend your time wisely in life. And I know I'm preaching to the choir because this is what people tell me all the time and a lot of our viewers are older so they already know this one of the big reasons why i have not been uploading as much content is i felt like this last year was really important to spend i know i can't spend every minute with finn or with sammy and both and the family because i do have to make the videos because that's how we make a living but at the same time to balance your life so that you don't miss out is really important because certain things that you think are really important turn out in the end to not be as important as other things. So cherish your life and do what you love and don't get too caught up in the material world even though we're all in it. Just try to stay grounded. I'm telling this to myself, I'm literally speaking to myself, but might as well just say it out loud. Either way, happy Halloween everybody and we will have more content to come that's Halloween related because I'm gonna be filming for the rest of the day here at our house and trick-or-treating starts at 6 p.m. and we have a lot of candy. So it's gonna go down tonight. Hollow, all Hollows Eve. Dun-dun-dun.